I reviewed hundreds of data resumes over the past year or so, and in this video, I'm gonna break down the most common mistakes people make, and in turn, show you how you can create a data resume that will impress the recruiters, so that you can land those crucial first stage interviews to kickstart your journey to land your dream data job. I'll even show you and give you my resume template for absolutely free. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mo Chen and I work as a data and analytics manager and I have over six years of experience working with complex big data in the financial services industry. I love practical tips and knowledge, so let me tell you about the first mistake that the overwhelming majority of job seekers make and how you can fix it. So I see a lot of people just write what they did on their resume. There's no why, there's no how, just what. Please do not do this. Use results focused bullet points. You could follow the star format, for example, which stands for situation, task, action, and result. And let me give you a practical example here. Lots of people just write, conducted data analysis to support marketing initiatives. But what if you wrote this instead? I analyzed sales data and combined it with demographic information to identify purchasing patterns and optimize marketing campaigns. I created a series of interactive Tableau dashboards with insights leading to a 20% increase in targeted campaign engagement and 15% improvement in overall marketing ROI. This sounds so much better, right? When the recruiter reads this, they'll know exactly why you did what you did, what you did, and how you did it. They'll know you're someone who can identify business problems and solve them using your technical expertise. Another mistake I see lots of job applicants make is not providing a link to their projects, certifications, or any other relevant qualifications. Having the links in your resume adds that extra ease with which people can just click and be taken to a page with proof that shows that you can do what you say you can do. Being credible is so important, so please make sure you include links to whatever projects, portfolio, or certifications that you may have. I know a lot of you watching this video don't come directly from a data analytics or a data science or a computer science background, in which case completing a widely recognized certification like the Data Analyst Certification by DataCamp and including that on your resume helps you gain credibility with your potential employers. The certification is built with industry leaders based on the latest market demands, and DataCamp, of course, also provides the necessary preparation in the form of various career tracks and courses. I've been a DataCamp user for years now, and I really enjoy the bite-sized, interactive, and engaging learning style on the platform. Learning by doing is something I always bang on about on the channel, and trust me, you'll definitely get your hands dirty and solve some real life data problems with DataCamp. And in case an entire certification seems a bit overwhelming to start with, you can always get started with DataCamp's Data Analyst Learning Track to build up those crucial data analysis skills before taking on the entire certification. So, if you're ready to take your data analysis skills to the next level, then make sure you check out the Data Analyst Certification and Data Analyst Learning Track by DataCamp using the links in the description below. And a huge shout out to DataCamp for sponsoring this video. Another area where a lot of the resumes I reviewed suffer is the lack of keywords throughout the entire resume. Strategic keyword placement is crucial, as oftentimes the recruiter or even the machine will just look for certain skills and certain certifications to quickly identify which candidate might be a potential success in the new role. Please read the job description and tailor your keywords according to whatever the job spec is asking for. If the role is heavily reliant on data visualization skills using Tableau, then please include Tableau in multiple places on your resume. You'll see in my resume template, I have keywords throughout the entire document, all over it from start to finish. 
there's no chance the recruiter will miss them. The free resume template link is in the description, in case you're wondering where to find it by the way, and whilst you're already in the description box, make sure to click on mochen.info as well. It's my website where you can sign up for my free newsletter, amongst many other things. Next up, I call this the no fluff approach. This might sound like common sense, but please include only relevant experiences and skills and exclude any non-relevant ones. You might think I'm crazy for including this one in the video, as it should be a no-brainer, but for some reason, lots of people include a lot of non-relevant information on their resumes. More is not better, unless it's more relevant, applicable experiences and skills that the recruiter wants to see. Say you worked in a coffee shop before as a barista slash manager. This is a non-relevant experience for a data job. But you could argue that you had elements of this job that had actually a lot to do with data analysis. The fact that you made fantastic lattes and cappuccinos is obviously not related to data analysis, so you should not include it on your resume. But the fact that you used Excel to track ingredient inventory levels and sales and created a set of dashboards to show trends over time, now that has everything to do with data analysis, right? Another huge mistake I see people make is not going through the job description and in turn not tailoring their resumes to that specific job application. I'm not saying you should spend the time to come up with a unique resume for each job application, but having a generic resume that you tailor for each application makes a lot of sense, in my opinion. Just imagine the amount of people who apply to the same job as you, who barely read the job spec, and hence do not bother to tailor their resumes. You can easily beat the competition here just by reading the job spec and making some minor changes to your resume. The easiest thing to do is just to change your professional summary based on the job you're applying to. In my resume, you can see that I said that I have many, many years of experience working in the financial services industry because this resume of mine is tailored for a data analyst job in banking. But if I was applying to a supply chain analyst role, then I would definitely change this to say something about my relevant supply chain experience and achievements. And last but not least, please follow a well-defined structure. Use consistent formatting, align your text and columns, and remember, don't overcomplicate the styling. You can see on my resume template here that it's pretty simple. You want to make sure that your resume grabs the attention of the recruiter, but at the same time, you also want to make sure that it is ATS friendly. There are many free online ATS compatibility checkers, so there's no excuse not checking and making sure your resume is ATS friendly. The score on mine is 92, by the way, according to enhancedcv.com. And I'm afraid that's all the data resume tips I have for today. I can guarantee that if you follow all the steps I detailed today, landing those interviews will become much, much easier. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely check out my free newsletter and all of the other data analysis resources I have on my website at mochen.info. And you should also check out these videos right here. Thanks so much for taking just a little time out of your day to watch this, and I shall see you in the next one.